Now, there's a pretty good chance that some of you are at home right now watching us and scrolling on your phone. You might even be on TikTok, but there's more to TikTok than just endless scrolling. From side hustles to full-time careers, millions count on TikTok to make money, and now that source of income is at risk. The CEO of TikTok was grilled on Capitol Hill as lawmakers consider a potential ban. News Channel 8's Justin Shecker is live in Tampa tonight. And Justin, you spoke to some local creators who would definitely feel the impact if a ban goes into place. They would, Jen and Keith. Good evening to you both. The two local creators I met today have tens of thousands of followers. Posting videos to TikTok has become part of their daily routines, and they both say they don't want the U.S. government to take that away from them. I'm right now at 57,000 followers. Victoria Urso is a sophomore at UT. Welcome back to another day in my life at the University of Tampa. She says she uses her TikTok account to promote a healthy lifestyle and her college campus. I think this is definitely my creative outlet. I mean, I just love like sitting in bed and then editing my day in the life video and then posting it the next day it brings me so much joy. For Tampa real estate agent Ksenia Cornova. In less than three minutes, I'm going to share exactly what you need to buy your first house. TikTok has become a tool to grow her business and connect with potential clients. I do my own listings. I do neighborhoods. I do tips for buyers, sellers. Cornova and Urso are among the more than 150 million TikTok users in the U.S. We're headquartered in, in Los Angeles. Today on Capitol Hill. TikTok CEO Xiao Chu tried to reassure lawmakers that the social media platform is safe and secure. American data stored on American soil by an American company overseen by American personnel. During the five-hour hearing, members of the House Energy and Commerce Committee raised concerns about privacy for Americans' data and TikTok's ties to the Chinese Communist Party. Your platform should be banned. Big tech has transformed the information superhighway into a super spreader of harmful content. Both of the Tampa TikTok users who spoke with News Channel 8 say lawmakers should leave the popular platform alone. So if we ban TikTok, like what is next in banning? So it kind of opens the floodgates like nobody would want to get rid of all social media. For everyone, it offers something different. And for what it offers me, I really would be upset if I had to live a life without TikTok. And last week, the Biden administration offered an ultimatum to the Chinese owners of TikTok, either sell your stakes or be banned. The Chinese government responded by saying it would oppose a forced sale. We'll keep you posted what happens next with TikTok. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.